Hey everybody, this is Mr. Hino. And in this video, I'm gonna go ahead and show you how to use your robot's down eye sensor to be able to sense a black line in VEX VR. So right now I'm in VEX VR and I'm on the new line detector playground. This is brand new. Um, I, this just came in in January. So you can see the different colored blocks and we'll get to the different colored blocks in another video. But today it's just gonna be the black. So what we're gonna do today is just uh, show you in a program how to have the robot identify black because when you use your front eye right here, if you notice, there is no black. So what we're gonna do is use a different block in our program to be able to sense that. So here we go. We're gonna go to our drivetrain blocks and we're just gonna use a move forward. So our robot's just gonna go forward and then we're gonna go to our control block here and we want a wait until. So we want this robot to keep going forward and wait until the down eye senses something. But before we get to that down eye, we're gonna go to the operators block here in the green and we're gonna choose this less than 50. And this is gonna be brightness. So let me move this over a little bit. So we have this wait until we have that less than 50% of brightness. And then we're going to go to our sensing. And let me show you the, now this right here is, it's curved because we're going to put right here that the front eye will detect the brightness of that block, which is, if it's black, it's not going to be very bright. So let me move this over here because we really don't need the other part of this window here. So the robot's gonna go forward, it's gonna wait until the, and this is gonna be the down eye, detects 50% or less brightness, which should be this black line here. To be honest with you, a blue block would probably be less than 50 also. But for that one, we could use the color blue. This one, because there's no black, that's what we're gonna, why we're gonna use the brightness. And then when it sees less than 50% brightness, we are going to, let's go back to this. Let's go ahead and have it drive backwards. I'll be honest here. I don't know exactly how far that is. That's probably, I don't know, maybe 1500 millimeters. So let's watch this in action. So the robot's going forward. It sees 100% brightness now with the white. It sees the black, ooh, and activates this to come back. Let's see how close I was to the 1500. Ooh, I was just a little bit off. So what do you think? Let's see, a full 1600. So let's restart that and try that again. I want this to stop exactly on the A. So it sees the black, activates the reverse, for 1600, come on, get us right on the A. Hey, that wasn't too bad. Let's do a 1650 just to be sure here. So for those of you that are learning virtually online with robotics, you can obviously utilize just this one, but it's kind of cool to utilize all five of these blocks here. And hey, look at that. We're right back where we started. So it's six. Uh, 1,650 millimeters to when it saw this less than 50% brightness of the black box and then back to the A. So that's how, do you, that's how you utilize your down eye using the brightness to be able to activate something in your program here. So this was a pretty easy program to get this robot to come back to that starting point A.